everybody. I wanted to do a quick little intro about our special day we had yesterday. Back in November, I hosted my first craft night, and it was such a success doing a couple Christmas projects that everyone wanted to do a spring one. So yesterday was our spring craft day. Now, we're missing a couple ladies, and we really miss them, but, you know, you're sick, and things are going on, and you can't, you know, accommodate everybody. Nonetheless, we had 10 or 11 ladies here, and a couple of them brought their daughters, and most of these ladies I play bunco with and there's a few ladies that I've known ever since uh, you know I was 10 years old and then the rest of the ladies I went to high school with and we have just developed the closest bond the last few years not in addition to knowing each other our whole life just about it is such a blessing to have some close friends like this that are all coming from different aspects of life you know we all have you know, been married and had kids and, and we all have our own unique set of problems. We actually call our Bunko group Mama's Bunko Therapy just because it really makes you reevaluate when you're having your own pity party day and you're realizing that maybe it's not so bad after all when you see what other people are struggling with. I want to share with you our happy day. First show you kind of the setup and then the end results of our day. And I hope it encourages you to uh, think of some projects and get a few friends together because that's what I tell people. It's not about whether or not you like the project or anything like that. It's just about fun and fellowship. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, we are walking out in the garage now, and I just went and pulled my dining room table out here. It's small enough and folds up where I was able just to wheel it out here. It's worked out fine. I've got 12 place settings up here. I've got a couple tables set up right here if it'll focus. And this is kind of our project table. I pinned a flag up there just to bring it a little more festive in here. And we're going to do a little mason jar a string art thought that was so cute and this is my light box I haven't turned on yet and this is our little wood project we're gonna do they have a choice of a couple different rabbits they can trace and paint white and kind of sand over it and distress it like that and then here's just a little paper craft if someone has some extra time that you just construct with a little glue stick. I think they're pretty cute projects. It's not about whether or not you are in love with the project or not. It's just fun and fellowship and we have a good time. And this is kind of my supply table. And that's the reason why I kind of go ahead and make up a couple of the projects for them to look at because with this many people, it almost takes one person walking around kind of help facilitating and help people. And I've got little bowls for everybody and I have you know, it takes quite a bit of prep to do this. The little wood project is made out of paint stirs. And then these are the cans of flowers that they're going to be able to pick. They can pick three of the same blooms or three different blooms, however they want to do it. But I did buy enough extra to where hopefully everybody will get the flowers they want. So I just want to give you a little preview shot and then I will take some clips when everybody gets here. We're all in there. Is Casey, my mom in there? I'm on the very far edge. I don't think Kendall's in it either. Hey. <laughs> all right, hold on. Just smiling for no reason. 